today I'm going to be reacting to California Garbage Trucks' this video. Some of his videos. Um, I'm going to react to the second one down. It says Waste Man from Nosimi Valley. Now, the reason it shows I already watched it was because this is actually my third attempt at recording this video. Um, I usually worked, used to record these on my tablet. And unfortunately, my tablet is now broken. So I had to get a screen recorder on my phone. And the problem with this one is I can only go up to 10 minutes, so... I mean, I'm, only, I'm not going to be able to get through this whole video, but I will definitely react to the parts I do see. Um, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Hold on, let me just put it in full screen. Okay, so we're only going to react to about 7 minutes of this video. 7 minutes, 30 seconds, that's the one I'll react to. Now this is going to be really tough because I don't know what to say because this is my third time watching. If it's the first time watching, you really get the best reactions. It's a very nice sounding truck. Diesel, as you can see. I wish that pickup wasn't in the way. I would have moved out and recorded that in the street. Just suggestions. That's the purpose of these videos. They're meant to try and help other YouTubers. I mean, smaller YouTubers than me. I'm not going to suggest anybody who's bigger than me do anything different because obviously what they did is working. Yeah, these videos are... <sighs> excuse, excuse me, I just woke up. I just woke up and tried recording this three times. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, these videos are just suggestion videos mainly. I'm not gonna... I'm probably not gonna leave any negative feedback. I'm never gonna do that. I'm never gonna say anything negative because then people might hate me and... I hate people to hate me, but okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> and also, really, I'm already beefing with a few other people. But then again, most of you are beefing with the same people, so maybe it's okay. No, it's not. Anyways, uh, back to the truck. Um, I can't decide whether this Mac LE is using the auto neutral or not. It seems like he's revving it manually, but then again, I almost seem like he's using auto neutral. Because Max have a different sound when they're using auto neutral. It's kind of a more deeper sound. Lid being open makes you think it's empty. Ah, I can't tell. There might. It looks like there was trash in it. Yellow grabbers they put on that. Looks very nice. Yeah, see that extra touch that, when the arm nears the end of its cycle is what makes you think it's actually not auto neutral. Oh no! Oh, front loader. Okay. Even though, I'm saying oh, like this is my first time watching it. It actually is. I 
wonder what kind of problems this recording will run into on my part. Yeah, this is a P320 FL. Uh, some people say for FEL, which is front end loader. I think I just say FL, front loader. Sounds the same as most of the AV stuff. Really good. I know GI's front loader is pretty much entirely struts. They replaced it. Wish they still had MRs, but then again, not even AV has MRs anymore. I think Santa Clarita still has a few. Orange forks. These are kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. Almost look ex Western race? I don't know. <laughs> Wait for that. The other thing is, if you, uh, sometimes you shouldn't even stand that close to the truck. It's This time I'm not even talking about safety. Of course, safety is always a priority, but like you see how big front loaders are, it's really tough to like get the whole angle of the shot. Because I mean, you can follow the bin all you want, but it's not going to come out the same if you go get that angle. You kind of want to, you want to try and get, yeah, like right here, this is a good shot. Like you want to try and get the whole truck in the shot. Unfortunately, I'm not able to film that many FL videos, so... But I do, whatever I can, I try to get the whole thing in the shot, anyways. Yeah, see, look at it all just fall in there. You ever notice how clean GI's front loader fleet is? It's, it's amazing, they take, re they take like, really good care of their trucks. It's kind of a model WM yard, almost. Most of the other guys in California. I don't know how exactly how many trucks are at this site. I do think it's about the same as KZ. Okay, we got a Peterbilt. I'm gonna finish watching this video and then I'm gonna have to cut the video. 4724. I think I've seen this truck in Eric's videos. But then again, I might not have. Ooh. I'm at Lee that I've already watched. No, that thing was entertaining. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up watching this video again. We put headphones on him. He has really one thing is, is uh, California garbage trucks. This this is really good audio quality. I don't know. It looks like he filmed with a phone. However, I can't guess. But the audio quality, the, the microphone, especially on like Apple products, is really good. Yeah, just listen to Mac Ellie. Obviously, that driver's been to the GI revving school. E-brake. Okay, what'd you do? <laughs> See, look at how fat... This guy, if he was at this can, I'm pretty sure he would catch up to him. Oh, this is one of the things I, uh... This is one of the shots I kind of nitpicked. Well, in a positive way, in the first video. Uh, time I recorded this. Well, whenever you get these shots, I try... This is just a suggestion. Try not to have these cans impacting it. You, like, film it from the cab side. Because it kind of just takes out the whole bottom of the arm. Because you see, the bottom of... This is a half yellow arm. You see... You only see a part of the yellow, but... Other than that, it's, it's a good shot. But... You know, just... It would have been better if the trash cans weren't in the way. So... I mean, which depending on whichever end the can you're filming is... You know, set up on that end. If it's in the middle, then I usually don't bother. But I'm sure you could think of your own way.